Hello guys, Dusty here with another uh, video game pickup video. I was about to say records pickup video because I am surrounded by records right now. I just shot a record video with 150 plus records, right? Um, and I will bring those up again in a little bit. But yeah, I found some video games also. So uh, doing a video game pickup video while I'm editing that one. And I'm going to try to edit this one too because it's a little bit shorter. However, um, my computer is, uh, it has uh, NVIDIA drivers that just really enjoy crashing. Uh, and then sometimes the whole computer crashes, so you never know what you're in store for. But no matter what, you always know it's going to be horrible. So uh, anyway, I went to the Goodwill. And um, they have this DVD rack where they keep all the DVDs and sometimes games, right? Well, I, I looked at, you know, the bottom shelf where they typically put the games, and there were some new ones there, and they weren't very exciting, so I assume that the whole stack was picked through, but I figured, you know what, okay, I want these ones. So, went ahead and picked them up, and they were all PlayStation 2 games, by the way. We got Namco Museum, because I don't believe I had Namco Museum on the PlayStation 2. I'm... Um, Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I do somewhere. But I'm not sure if I have the greatest hits version, and I'm not sure if my copy is in this good of shape. It is in really good shape. It was $2, so I figure, heck, worst case scenario, if I'm selling a PlayStation 2, then um, I can go ahead and place the worst copy with the PlayStation 2 I'm selling, and somebody gets a free Namco Museum with the PlayStation 2. But anyway, and this disc is, like, perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Look at, look at that. Look at, oh, yeah. But, I don't see anything wrong with it anyway. It was just like my Persona 2 Eternal Punishment disc until I decided to try to do this crazy magical thing and play the game. Uh, and then my PlayStation 3 just kind of tried to, you know, destroy it and mangle it and chew on it. And, yeah. Still mad at that thing. I do want to hit it with a hammer at some point, but you know. Um, it plays PlayStation 3 games though, and it won't scratch those because Blu-ray discs are like made of kryptonite or something like that that you can't really destroy. So, um, yeah, we got Test Drive, two bucks, why not? Um, and yeah, disc is a little bit more scratch, but hey, it's Test Drive. I did not have Test Drive for the PlayStation 2, so, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be incredibly good. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what... Okay, I think I got... Okay, so on the back of this picture, you see this rendition of a dude with a... It looks like his arms are crossed, but it looks like his... Doesn't this look weird to you guys? It looks like his arm is, like, coming from her, um, without a hand. It's kind of freaking weird, but, eh, whatever. Uh, still a cool game to have, nonetheless, I suppose, because I did not have it before. Where did I put the other one? Where, oh, it's right here. Okay, and then, uh, last but not least, for $2, we picked up Need for Speed Most Wanted. Oh yeah, and it comes with this nice little slip cover, and yeah, a game inside. Uh, it's kind of cool. And it has it has a disc that fell out, um, as games do. Now this is the um, Black Edition exclusive DVD right there. So I feel special that I have this. Um, and we also have the game, of course, which I did not have before. So yeah, kind of cool. And it even has Black Edition on the disc. So I assume this is kind of like the standard fare. You pay a little bit more for it, and you get some random crap that nobody really cares about in five years. Um, and look, it's been, uh, it's been 11 years, so hey, we still don't care about it. All right, uh, anyway, yeah, it's kind of cool to have the, like, definitive version. I assume this is a definitive version, but still, it's, it's Need for Speed Black, Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition, and I didn't have it. All right, so these pickups come from about, these next pickups come from about you know like 15 minutes ago. I was doing my rounds at the Goodwill and the pawn shop. I didn't find anything really at the Goodwill, but the pawn shop, the pawn shop had some stuff. All right, guys, uh, I looked through all of their like PlayStation 2 and Wii games. They didn't have anything new there. Looked through all their Xbox 360, PS3, that kind of thing. Didn't have anything there. Xbox One didn't really have anything I was interested in. So I go over to the portable games case, like where they keep their portable games and consoles. And in that case, they had a white Game Boy Advance, just one of the standard white ones. For $24, it was in pretty dirty condition, so I wasn't even going to think about that one, honestly. But it did have some stuff with it. Some interesting stuff. Some stuff that is interesting. So, um, for starters, it had with it... Well, it didn't have, like, with it. Um, it these were all separate. And all $2. Uh, we got for $2 Kingdom Hearts. Uh, 
I'm not sure what the subtitle on that one is. Um, if you can, if you know, let me know in the comments because I'm clueless. My camera's just not gonna focus, so guesswork, right? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was a buck ninety nine, so I figured go ahead and pick this up, and it's a Kingdom Hearts game to add to the collection. I don't believe I have any Kingdom Hearts games for the DS, so I don't know if there's any more of them or not. But anyway, next up we got a game that I'm actually really excited to have a second one of. I'm probably gonna get rid of it at some point. But, you know, it's kind of cool to have, nonetheless. So you got Super Mario 3D World. Um, yeah, Super Mario 3D World. Now, um, for those of you who've been following along with these pickup videos, uh, I had picked one up uh, recently with Pilot Wings and a, well, not just a, a, um, this 3DS with those games for 20 bucks at a garage sale. So, um, yeah. Pretty happy to get this game for two bucks again, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with a second copy of it. Probably uh, get rid of it and use it to put it in the Revelations Persona Fund so I can get that game someday. Um, but I kind of want to wait until the price goes down, even if you know I'm just getting rid of a bunch of games. I, 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 frugality is in my nature, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm never one to overpay for things. Um, occasionally I'll pay market, but you know I'll never like overpay for things. Um, and the market, well, I, and you know, I, I won't pay whatever the market is supposed to be for Persona Revelations, Persona on the PlayStation 1 right now because it's just freaking ridiculous, guys. But yeah, we did manage to get Super Mario 3D World on the DS, on the 3DS, excuse me. Okay, now this last one was very interesting. It was in the case, it was without a label, all right, it's a Game Boy Advance game. And it's translucent green. Guys, we got this. And now, I knew it was uh, actually Pokemon Emerald, but uh, just in case I didn't, they had Pokemon Emerald written on the tag there. And yes, it was $2, so I will do for any day $2 for a copy of Pokemon Emerald without the label. Now, it is a legitimate cartridge. I did look it over, and um, it's absolutely legit, so it's not one of those, like, Shenzhen, China, import and bulk and sell, passing it off as real cartridge kind of things. Um, no, it's 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 a legit, it's a legit, it's a legitimate. So, yeah, uh, that's a, that actually crosses a spot off of uh, Game Boy Advance Pokemon games that I need. I need what other ones do I need? I need Leaf Green and Ruby and Sapphire. And then I will have all of the Game Boy Advance ones. So I have a little bit less than half because the only ones I have are Emerald and Fire Red. Um, and I also have one of the Mystery Dungeon games I picked up recently, but you probably know about that one. And the um, original Game Boy ones, I'm actually getting close to having all of them. I have a uh, Yellow, Red, uh, Gold, and Silver. So, I just need, um, I believe, Emerald, oh, no, I just need, uh, Crystal, I think, and, which is kind of difficult to find, and, uh, Blue, so after that, I will have all of them. That's pretty cool. I even have, uh, Pokemon Yellow and Red, uh, the Japanese versions. Never been able to find Pokemon Blue, though, so, hopefully, 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 I will be able to get my hands on Pokemon Blue. But yeah, um, that's all the pickups for this video. Kind of short one, but I wanted to get it out of the way and get something up on the channel while I'm working on this mega record haul. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you guys all the records down here. Look, 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 look at this. I don't know if you can see those very clearly. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead. My, my whole entire room's a mess, so I'm going to try to do this without showing off my entire room here. But, um, yeah. Lots of records, over 150. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been Dusty. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all next time. Take it easy. Ooh, the, 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 I'm doing the, um, going to make everybody at home sick, uh, shot here. This is, that's what it's called. Oh, dizzy. Ah! It's like a roller coaster. I hate roller coasters. Goodbye.